Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are reviewing this Arma Outcast 4S. You can pick this up at a local hobby shop for probably 400 and if they're out of stock, you'll probably find it somewhere online. I have watched and read a lot of reviews online saying that this truck is really durable and it's really powerful. Now let's open it up and find out what's really inside this box. This box comes with the truck, the remote, and it's ready to run, but you, but you do need two LiPo batteries, either, or no, you need two 2S LiPo batteries, or one 3S, or one 4S. And if your LiPo batteries aren't the same connector, you need some kind of adapter, like I have here. And along with that adapter, and lipo batteries, you need four AA batteries for the radio. So let's get to the inside. I've not seen what it looks like and how big it is. Okay. They do claim that it is waterproof and it's very strong. Throw that over there. Okay, here we have the truck. We have the owner's manual, maybe some tools inside. Always read the manual first so that you know what you're doing. There's also some stickers. Put that aside. We'll read the manual in a minute. Okay. Now here we got the truck. Ran plastic. Okay. This should be the remote. It's with the package. As you can see here, we have the remote. I've heard there's been some bad reviews online, but we shall find out ourselves. I had an old remote like this, but it wasn't as cheap as... There is some cheap stuff on here that they could have done better on. Spectrum. Why? So, this is where you need the four AA batteries. And here is the blank plug. Keep that, put that next to the manual. Okay, now let's see what is inside this truck. It's a cool little model in there. Okay, it's a really nice body. Hopefully we don't damage that. Okay, here's the truck. Trunk inside. Here is the motor with the cooler on top and the ESC with two plugs. Wheels are pretty massive, not gonna lie. And I've also heard online that these shocks leak. And it tells right here. They already have they're already really moist. So yeah. They have this they put the steering brace on there, so when you like go like that and bend the chassis or something, it supports it so that the chassis can't bend all the way. There's also Battery strap. Really, mostly everything is plastic, except this uh, chassis brace. And yeah, it's a wheelie bar on the back. In my opinion, it's pretty low because if you're going, I mean, you have to be up this high to hit the wheelie bar. I think you can adjust. Nope, you can't. I'll probably just find one online to be able to adjust it. Uh, what else? Drive lines, plastic, almost everything is plastic, but that means it's lighter. And plastic, I've heard this plastic is pretty strong and holds up, but I probably won't upgrade anything until I break it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, but the steering servo, I might replace that in mirror. In the near future, 
See, look, it's okay. That's a dirty pill durability test right there. It's in one piece. Okay, well, I only see one thing left to do. Okay, well, this is... These don't seem very... I mean, these might last a little bit, but these aren't really... If you look here, these aren't the thickest control arms, but they will have to do. There's also some shock bash guards right here. I don't know if you can see them. Right there. That's a nice little feature that they have. I guess you can call it that. But... Okay, well, like I said, here is the adapter right here. This adapter plugs into that. So, let's hook this thing up, plug in everything, and there's only one thing I have to do. You have to bash this thing. Okay, now that I have read the manual, or you just have to mostly read the quick start guide and skim through the manual. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, there's just the plugs, don't want to get hot, plug in the batteries, always put the controller on first. So we're going to put in these batteries real quick, okay, make sure the sucker turns on, okay, on, this works, now let's just put in these batteries, boom, okay, so now it's time to get these adapters out. Let's plug these in like so. I'm just gonna make sure this remote is on, just in case. Okay, switch this puppy on. Okay. Yeah, I've seen lots of videos. Look at how slow this is. Definitely gonna replace that. Give it a little. Oh my gosh. Well, before I break something, let's hit this off. Turn this off. Always remote. Always turn off the car before the remote. Always turn on the remote before the car. Have to know that. If you do not do that, then it's just going to cause you problems. Okay, here we go first. Well. Now it's time to do a speed run. This thing is fast. Gravel roads, this thing is not easy to control. Great, it's that. Oh, there we go. Get out of 
the ditch. It's just <laughs> attached to that ditch. Signing out for now, let's hit this tall jump one more time, and this will be the end of the video. No! What happened? I think I broke something. Oh my god, no way. The shock mount on the bottom just broke. Well, that's not good. Well, that's it.